there's just nothing like living in the suburbs. Backyard cricket, hot summer barbecues, riding the bikes around the cul-de-sac. But what is it about Australian suburban living that is just so good? Ah, the serenity. We're west of Melbourne in the easy living community of Bamburn to discover the secrets to the appeal of suburban living. I mean, you can't just plonk down some houses in a paddock and expect people to come running, can you? Oh my God, hi Penny. Hi Maddie. You are the exact person I want to talk to about something. Let's do it. When did Australians fall in love with the suburbs? The suburbs really date back to the early 19th century when Australia was in a period of rapid growth. So we moved out of the cities and into suburbs like St Kilda and Fitzroy in Melbourne and Potts Point and Paddington in Sydney. It was seen as an ideal place to raise a family with lots of open space, access to transport, to schools, and a much quieter and healthier lifestyle than the crowded inner urban areas. It was also the first opportunity for a lot of families to own a home. So what do you think the future of Australian suburbia looks like? I think we'll see more emphasis on social inclusion to create more diverse suburbs. Stereotypical suburban life isn't without its criticisms. But I think the only opinion worth anything is from the people that live here. And it just so happens I've been invited for a barbecue. Oh. Oh, looking. Ah, perfect. Thank you so much for having me around, genuinely, and inviting me into your home. What is your favourite bit about living in the suburbs? The community. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's very safe. People are very friendly. I can tell. Yeah. Very peaceful. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, everyone's not like in a rush how they are in the city. If you want to talk to someone, take a breath, they'll stop, sit mm -hmm. down, talk to you. Do you all know your neighbours next door and everything like that? Yes. Do you know everyone on the yes. street? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. everyone by name. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And I know what food they can cook the best. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you know that very well. Is that what made you decide to choose Membran to live? This gave us a really good vibe. There's new schools coming in, there's new houses getting built, so it will be a good community to live in. At least for these homeowners, suburban living is the perfect balance between lifestyle and convenience. But what are the reasons why our cities have expanded so outwards? See you guys. <laughs> to tackle these big questions, we need a big thinker. Hey Anne. Hey Maddie. Swinging, huh? Like the interest rate. <laughs> Shall we go talk about suburban living instead? Yeah, that sounds good. So Anne, what drives Australians to the suburbs? Often it's lifestyle, that desire for more space. Affordability is also a big factor. Has there been a strong shift in our history towards the suburb? Yeah, we're definitely seeing more people move further away from the capital cities. And actually, it's our suburban areas that are seeing the strongest growth. Oh really? Yeah. So that's the most popular then? Yeah, absolutely. So we know for a lot of people that maybe want an extra bedroom, maybe they're thinking of starting a family, they need that extra extra space and often the only places where they can afford to buy it are further away from the cities in our suburban areas. We can actually get rumpus rooms and studies and a laundry that's not a part of the kitchen. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And often people want lots of access to lifestyle like green spaces, education, medical, shopping, restaurants, cafes, suburbs that give people easy access to these necessities are going to be where people want to live. It's clear that suburban living has been woven into the very fabric of Australia in life. And with our ever-expanding cities and the right ingredients to help these communities thrive, I don't see it stopping anytime soon.